Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I have a challenge for you. It's called the Balance Challenge. I'm gonna show you how I set everything up and I challenge you to try to do the same thing I did. If you wanna see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Hey guys, if you don't already know, I'm doing videos Wednesdays and Fridays. I added Fridays maybe a couple of weeks ago. So make sure you check in uh, for videos on Fridays. And also hit that subscribe button and that bell so that way if I add more days, you'll be notified about it. Okay, in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and take you over to the table and show you what I built and show you the balancing challenge. Now, for those of you with an EB3, you might have to figure out some way to get this platform because I used the Spike Prime and Inventor platforms, you know, those big giant base plates but we'll have to figure something out for EB3. But Spike Prime and Inventor, this is definitely something up your alley, and I wanna see if I can challenge you to get this thing done. Okay, so this is the Spike Prime and the Inventor base plates here. So again, EB3 folks, sorry about this, but if you're wondering how I built this, I'm gonna give you kind of a quick, easy take a look around. So this Inventor, base plate here. I just attached the llama pieces there to, I believe that's a five beam on each side. And then I just had a black connector. And then I connected two of the spike prime base plates. And then I added these panels here just because this robot was too big to actually just go on the base plate. So I needed just some more surface area. And so here is the challenge. Let me go ahead and this is my, you'll see that I did use the EV3 tires here. I just thought it would give it more traction going up this ramp. But the challenge is this, is to try to getting the robot to go up the ramp and be able to stop perfectly so that the ramp is balanced with the robot on it. Now, if you think that's impossible, that's what the challenge is going to be. And so what I did is um, I was realizing that, you know, the front part of this robot was a little too heavy. So that's why I had this EV3 ball bearing in the back just to kind of give it counterbalance and so that it might be able to just even out the, the weight to get this to balance. So what we're looking for, if I can even do it with my hand, ooh, I almost had it, is to get it to stop so perfectly that it balances the ramp out here. I might be, I know what you're saying. If Mr. Hino can't even do it with his hand, how are we gonna have the robot do this? But we're gonna try to get it so that the robot makes this thing perfectly balanced like that. So that's gonna take some definitely persistence and some ingenuity and some just problem solving on how do we get the robot to do that. So you can definitely start your robot on the base plate. I was going to have the robot travel, but because of this little incline right there, it was going to be really tough, especially for this ball bearing. Yeah, I could have put, you know, a, a raised platform right here, but I thought, eh, let's just make it, because this is going to be tough enough as it is right here to not make it any more difficult. So what we're going to do is, in my program, I'm having the robot go a certain amount of distance and actually back up. Um, I thought it might be tough because the robot is traveling forward and because of you know just the momentum of the robot that if I didn't have it back up that it might you know just always tilt this way. I hope I'm not giving away any secrets um, but I'm trying to get it to just back up so that way I can kind of make the robot because it might be a little lighter here on the back just to give it that balancing effect so we will see.
look at this. That's balancing there, guys. Look at that. That is definitely off the table. Yes. I mean, you know, granted, it's not perfectly level, but that's off the table. Look at that. Here, let me see if I can stick my finger underneath there. Well, okay, maybe not my finger. How about a pen? Look at that, guys, all the way through. Yes. Okay, guys, I did it. I can't even believe it. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think it was gonna be possible. I just thought that that ramp was just too flimsy, like it just wouldn't stay in the middle. Well, it didn't really go in the middle, but it was balanced. You gotta give me that, okay, guys? So again, I apologize to all of you EV3 folks out there. Um, you can definitely feel free to mix and match what you can, because I know I had those EV3 tires and the ball bearing, but I just felt like the EV3 tires would give better grip and that ball bearing just gave me extra weight to kind of counter the robot there. So it was a really fun challenge. It was just neat to be able to um, kind of test out everything and experiment to get that thing to balance. So I'm really liking the fact that it worked and it's still, it's still balancing right now. So I, it's just really cool. So the challenge is on to you guys. If you can throw me a link for those of you that have your own YouTube channel, or you can even send your video to me, um, send it to, Hino Lego Robotics at gmail.com. If you guys can fulfill the, you know, the, or be successful at that challenge, I'd love to be able to see your video. So that would be cool. Okay, guys, take care. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.